when you look back in the, the record books, you know, it'll always be about the final and you don't really take any notice of who lost in the semi-final. Both sides have struggled to meet expectations in the league this season, but the cup is a different matter. I think at the moment the confidence of the team is high. We're so close to the, to the final, so we have to give everything that we can. In my mind, they're still a massive club and with a rich history. It's just sad to see them on occasions, the last three seasons or so, where they've really struggled at the foot of the table. Obviously, an ex Villa player, I want to see them up the other end. The league has been pretty much terrible. In Lambert's last few weeks, he really got the, uh, the feeling that this wasn't just as bad as it could get, but it was going to get no better. A club like Villa shouldn't even be talking about survival, but uh, things are a lot better than they were a month or so ago. Tim Sherwood's come in and turned things around quite well. And Scott Sinclair could send Villa into the semi-final here. It's a real opportunity, which he takes superbly. And Tim Sherwood will take his side to the National Stadium in the midst of a relegation battle. When he came, the first thing he said, you have to play without fear. Simple. Play without fear and play the, the way that you, you can play, and everything's going to be fine. That's why, at the moment, the confidence of the, of the team is high. He's obviously brought the best out of people like Christian Benteke, is the classic example, who's suddenly become as good as now as he's capable of being, but he just seems to have put a smile on the club's face. And again, that's something that we haven't had for a long time. He helped me, he helped me also a lot, because he gave me a lot of, um, lot of freedom, a lot of uh, responsibility to say to the lads that we have to use our strengths. I get the feeling that Wembley is the stage for someone like Sherwood. It would be incredible to think that a manager who's only been here a couple of months has managed to do what no other manager has managed in the past 58 years. He wants to keep them up this season, which is his number one priority, obviously, but he'd love to win a trophy. You know, he'd love to get Aston Villa to a final. On the other side of it, Brendan Rodgers, Brendan, I can assure you, wants nothing more than to win. He wants to win trophies for Liverpool Football Club. Here's Philip Coutinho for Liverpool, he's in! And the Brazilian rifles it home for Liverpool. If you look at where Liverpool are in the league, you would fancy them to beat Aston Villa. Of all the teams at the top of the league, they are the, probably the most unpredictable. On their day, they can beat anyone, but equally, if they have an off day, then uh, they can lose to anyone. It's a semi-final of uh, FA Cup. It's going to be 50-50. Of course, they're favourite because they're Liverpool, but when you are in the semi-final, and especially FA Cup, there's something every time special, so... We have to believe that we can win this game. They seem to be scraping through these, uh, these, this comp in this competition, which could be a bit worrying, but again, yeah, they, they can only say what I've seen so far is that there's nothing really to be afraid of. A few young players like Sir Coutinho and Sterling who could shine. You know, then for Aston Villa, you know, you're, you're looking at young Jack Grealish and what he could do. Ben Teki's in great form at the moment. You know, you've got Delph in there, he'll be very competitive, so there'll be a few challenges flying in. So, yeah, I'm excited by it. I'm really looking forward to the match. I think by the time you get to this, but to this stage, then you have to feel confident because it really is anything can happen. And that's it. Aston Villa are into the semi-finals. And that is the cue for fans to stream onto this Villa Park pitch. Yeah, it, was, it was a great feeling. It was a really great feeling. And then you can see that everyone was really happy. I'm delighted that the FA Cup means so much to the players, you know, because I think for a few seasons it, it didn't look that way. It was as if it was something that got in the way of their league games. Whereas I think now that's certainly changing, uh, and I think for both clubs it'll be absolutely massive. I think a lot of people, particularly of my generation, it's the only trophy we haven't seen the club win. It is great, I think, that the FA Cup, which is the oldest competition of all, is still held in such high esteem. Well, I played in three finals, which was uh, something to savour. You know, when you're a youngster, you know, the first thing you want to do is become a professional footballer, get into someone's first team, and then obviously playing cup finals and win trophies. And I was fortunate enough to do that. I also played in a few semi finals when I lost, unfortunately. Semi finals are great when you win, a little bit of place when you win, but when you lose, it's, it's very hard to take because all your endeavours throughout the season, all the games that you've played to get yourself into that position, one game away from the final itself, is all undone in that 190 minutes of football. I'm looking forward now to play a semi-final of FA Cup against Liverpool. I think at the moment the confidence of the team is high, so you have to use it on Sunday. Two-year-old teams, you know, they're, 
It'll be hard for me, I'll have to sit on the fence in this one and just uh, be very impartial about who's going to win it, but I think it's going to be a cracking game, I really do. No one ever remembers losing semi-finalists, do they? But everyone remembers who wins the FA Cup.